Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be unboxing the Moon Knight Magnetic Pin box set. This is a collectible of course from the MCU Disney Plus show. I really really enjoyed it and I'm a huge Marvel prop collector so I had to get this for my collection. It's actually a GameStop exclusive but you can get it at a few different retailers like Big Bad Toy Store. Personally I did pick mine up from GameStop and it cost me $80.99 in Canada. The original price in Canadian dollars was $89.99 but because of my membership discount I get it for almost $10 off which was pretty nice but anyways let's go ahead and unbox it so very simple packaging here it's really just a white slip cover and then there's the box so we've got the Marvel Studios logo with Moon Knight on the back we've got the Marvel logo the Disney Plus logo and then sales one which is the company that makes this collectible then right here on the bottom right corner it tells you the item number so they made 10,000 of these so pretty good chances to get one I I would say because of that high collection number. Mine is number 6,453. Let's go ahead and open it up. So boom, we can see the crescent dart in there and the scarab that was used to find Amit's tomb. Right here we get a little bit of like styrofoam, you remove that and we've got an image of Moon Knight which I gotta say that is a really badass photo. I absolutely love the suit design with the gold accents and the whole like mummy wrap kind of design there. It looks really really good. We also get a certificate of authenticity. So inside the box there's actually labels for the items inside. So right here we've got the crescent blade and then we've got the scarab. Let's take the scare about first. So this actually feels like really good quality. It's made out of metal. The paint apps and everything look pretty solid on it. We can actually open it up so that the wings pop out just like how they did in the show when it was floating over Arthur Harrow's hand leading him to Amit's tomb. So that looks really really good. On the back there's actually hieroglyphics too which I think looks pretty awesome and there's a magnet because this is a pin. I'm not going to be using it as a pin. I'm actually going to keep it in the box but have the box open so that it's displayed in a cool way because the box and everything just like looks really good with all of the logos and images and everything but that is the scarab right there really good quality overall and I really like that it was metal because they easily could have cheaped out and made this like a plastic or something and I just love the hieroglyphics all over it on the front and the back now onto the crescent blade or crescent dart this was the main reason I bought this collectible because it is just such a cool prop collectible that you can have for the MCU all right so here it is guys it is metal of course just like the scarab It's got a little bit of weight to it because of that. We've got hieroglyphics in the middle and on the tips here. It's decently sharp. Like I wouldn't say it's super sharp enough to just kind of like tap it and cut yourself or something, but it is decently sharp. The paint apps look really good with that gold finish. If you're someone that's planning on doing like a Moon Knight cosplay or something, you can grip it, of course. And I think it looks really badass. It's a really cool weapon in the MCU. So all of that's fine and dandy. It's all really good, high quality stuff. The only negative that I have right now is that the backs side isn't like the front side. It's hollow and it's got the magnets just like the Scarab did on the back. It does have the Marvel Studios and Moon Knight logo inside but honestly I would have preferred if the whole thing was enclosed. That would have made this like a 10 out of 10 for me and if it maybe came with a display stand or something that I've seen some people start making. I think you can buy it on places like Etsy but I honestly might just make my own display stand if I do go that route when uh, I start displaying this. Anyways though I really really like the Crescent Blade here. It's made out of metal the paint apps look really good it uh, does look one-to-one -one ratio from live action I think in the show they might have been just slightly bigger but it's not like super super noticeable I just really wish that backside was the same as the front but that's really the only negative that I have with this whole set so guys that is the Moon Knight collectible box set from the Disney Plus series I really really liked it if you guys want to pick one up for yourself make sure you call your local GameStop they should be getting them in right around now so if you call and just put it a side you should be able to pick it up. I think if you're a big MCU or Moon Knight fan you definitely need this for your collection. It's really high quality and it just looks awesome. The only negative is the back side of it but if you're someone that's going to display it in the box like this then I think you have nothing to worry about really. But yeah that is the GameStop exclusive Moon Knight box set. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did make sure you like and subscribe. I'm actually going to be unboxing the Black Series Darth Vader helmet next. So if you guys are a fan of Star Wars or Darth Vader you should definitely check that video.
video out. I've got my She-Hulk episode 2 review coming out on Thursday. Needless to say, lots and lots of content is coming, but for now, this is the end. Thank you again for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video.